Any philosophy, theory, or practice that stirs or promotes feelings of disunity, disharmony, anger, and or contention. But also newer inventions that Satan instigates to cause division. For, for example, um, and so we need to be on the lookout because as, as we in the church and as we in the nation of the United States get better, become more unified, the, racial difference in contention is, is like a bone in the mouth of a Rottweiler to Satan. He is not letting it go. It, we, know, we all know that. Um, and, and therefore, he will do what he, as we get better, he will do what he can to hold on to it, keep it going, keep the contention going. Here's what I personally think is an example of that. Look at this guy. This guy uh, is pretty, pretty in the 70s, uh, when I was in high school, this guy would have been pretty cool. Pretty cool, culturally sensitive, um, inclusive. You saw this guy walking down the street in the 70s and you knew that kind of he was, he was um, behind equality. What is he today? What would he be today? He can't do that today. It's cultural appropriation today. What changed? Nothing changed. There, there's, there's, we just have a, as things, as we get better in society, there will be things that, that will change that we need to be aware of as Latter-day Saints. We need to recognize that shifts in, um, in our ability to come together as a people, regardless of our backgrounds, um, will not necessarily be righteous. Some will be. And as, as prejudice fades and as racism fades from our country and from our communities, um, there will be reasons to keep getting better and keep becoming more sensitive in a good way. Um, something that was okay 20 years ago won't be okay today. And that's the, the natural progression of people getting uh, along better. Probably if you're married, you probably see that in your marriage. Um, a, a something said 20 years ago is not said today. Uh, in your marriage. Uh, do we have, we don't have any. Do any examples come to mind? You can't think of any. Good.